Welcome to BiologyExamsForYou.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about how monoclonal antibodies are synthesized using hybridomal technology. Monoclonal antibodies are antibodies that are produced that are produced from a single clone of cells. They are homogeneous. While injecting an antigen into a system, the body will respond. An antigen is having a number of epitopes you can see right here in this figure, so that while isolating the serum after some time, we'll be getting a mixture of antibodies often referred as polyclonal antibodies. So in order to get monoclonal antibodies, that is antibodies that, are directed, that, are, that is directed against a single epitope, that is a technology that was developed by Kohler and Winsky, and was called as hybridoma technology. And you can see right here, this is the monoclonal antibody in this tube. There is a single antibody that is directed against epitope 1. Now let us discuss how hybridoma technology works. In hybridoma technology, we are using two types of cells. First is a T cell. T cell is capable of synthesizing antibody against a specific epitope. And the second cell is the myeloma cell or a tumor cell that is capable of continuous proliferation. So we are fusing these two cells using polyethylene glycol, the fusogen. And the majority of the cells will be unfused. So only a few number of cells will be fused. So we'll be having a hybrid cell. We need to select this hybrid cell from a mass of all the other cells which are unfused. And this is done by using a medium which is called a selective medium called hat medium. And in hat medium only the hybrid cells could grow. The intention of this technology, in the, the purpose is we are generating a hybrid cell that is having the capability of antibody synthesis from B cell. At the same time, it, it will be having the capability of continuous proliferation uh, that is inherited from tumor cell. Unfused B cells undergo normal cell death in hat medium, whereas myeloma cells cannot grow in hat medium that we will be discuss, discussing in the next slide. And from that, you can, we can select these hybridoma cells and can be cultured in large scale. And this is uh, hat medium, how hat medium works. Uh, hat medium has three chemicals, that is hyposanthin, aminopterin, and thiamidin. For any, any cell, nucleotide synthesis is the key for the survival. So there are two pathways by which nucleotides are synthesized. From simple sugars, nucleotides are synthesized. And this aminopterin in hat medium is capable of blocking these pathways. So this pathway is blocked in all the three cells, that is, three cells in the medium, B cells, hybrid cells, and myeloma cells. And de novo pathway is blocked in all the cells. So for the cell to survive, salvage pathway, the other pathway for nucleotide synthesis should work. And this pathway uses the hyposanthin in the medium, and that is converted by an enzyme, hyposanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase to the other nucleotide. And this particular, uh, as this particular enzyme is deficient in myeloma cells. So that this particular enzyme is absent, so myeloma cells cannot survive, cannot have both these pathways for survival. So let's have a close look. And this is a half medium. Now we have the hybrids. We need to select the hybrid cell from a whole mixture of all unfused cells. So what, what, what is the fate of B cell? In the case of B cells, B cells are having the HGPRT, the enzyme that is required for carrying a salvage pathway, but B cells has short lifespan, so it will undergo normal cell death. In the case of myeloma cells, myeloma cells are HGPRT deficient. We are actually making it HGPRT deficient. So the normal pathway is blocked by aminopterin. So in order to survive, salvage pathway should work but this particular enzyme is lacking, so it won't work. So in hat medium, myeloma cells cannot grow. In the case of hybrid cells, this hybrid cells has inherited, the, inherited this HGPRT enzyme from B cell, so that it is having the HGPRT enzyme, so it can survive, it can, it, can, it, can take, it can move on with the salvage pathway, and only in hat medium, only these hybrid cells can grow and later we can isolate these and we can culture it in large scale for the production of the monoclonal antibodies. And this is a summary of what we have discussed. And 
in myeloma cell, it is HGPRT deficient, so it cannot survive in heart medium, as de novo pathway is already blocked by aminopter in the heart medium. In the case of these cells, it is, it is HGPRT plus, but cannot survive. In, it can survive in heart medium for some time, but it will undergo normal cell death. In the case of hybrid cell, it has inherited this enzyme HGPRT from the B cell, so only hybrid cells are, are, can survive in heart medium. I hope this presentation is useful for you. Your comments, suggestions are always welcome. For more detailed notes, you can log on to our website biologyexcelsforyou.com. If for multiple choice questions, you can you can visit mcqbiology.com. I'll be back with yet another topic. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.